Hello guys! Sometimes when you drive alone and uh, we go out of the truck and we crash, uh, there are two possible consequences. We blame the car. Or we blame uh, ourselves. Yeah, pretty easy to say, ha, it's my car fault. Or, well, I must admit that, that was my fault. But are you sure it's your car fault? Or are you sure uh, it's your fault? In this video I'll try to make you understand when it's your fault and when you have to blame your car or the setup. Ready? Imagine you're doing your best to make your perfect hot lap uh, or to keep a faster space uh, but you spin uh, or you go out of the track too often. At a certain point uh, you will say, hey, come on. How comes I turn it to a perfect new bad driving? In that case, don't worry, because probably it isn't your fault. If you see your car spins in a great part of the corners, it means there is something wrong. For example, a bad setup. I made plenty videos about setup, so I won't be too specific this time, but a stiff rear anti-roll bar or a low rear downforce could penalize a lot your car. Same for tires pressure. If you overheat your tires or you don't manage to keep an optimal temperature, it will be easier to spin. Tires wear. Because of the car and track conformations, obviously the tires wear isn't homogeneous on all four tires. In some cases, the front or the rear tires could be more used. In other cases, the left or right tires could be more used. In other cases, you'll use more just one wheel. And in that case, after a few laps, uh, you feel like uh, you're driving on a three-wheel car, resulting in a spin. If your car is too hard to drive, the solution are two. The first one is to drive slightly slower. The second one is to set up the car to have more understeer because, as you know, the understeer is easier to under compared to the oversteer. If the first one isn't the right one, try it with the second one, and vice versa. You must acknowledge there are harder cars and easier cars to drive, and you can't drive all cars in the same way. So you have to adapt a particular driving style according to the car you're driving. For example, when you drive a short wheelbase car, I remind you the wheelbase is the distance between the front and the rear wheels, you have to be extremely careful with the steering and the throttle, because you have a higher probability to spin. So. Don't get angry at your car <laughs> if you can't keep the control of it. In this case, it's just the law of physics and you must adapt your driving style to a short wheelbase car. Another element is the stress, or pressure if you prefer. <laughs> and this makes things harder for you. Your driving precision will be lower and uh, you'll tend to make more risks. And you, of course, the number of mistakes increases a lot. It isn't a secret, driving is a lot affected by our emotions. Psychologically speaking, you must be calm. In that way, you can focus better on what you're doing. Keep this in mind. Even if you're slower than someone, 
it doesn't mean you are in trouble. You can make things harder for your opponent, which isn't stress proof, and wait uh, for his mistake. In other cases, there are little mistakes we can't notice immediately. But the result of those little mistakes are an accident or a spin. For example, a classic is breaking with one wheel on the grass. Another is pushing the throttle too much and oversteering in acceleration, which is isn't that easy to control, especially with high downforce cars. These little mistakes happen especially when you're trying to give your best, to make a perfect hot lap, or you're trying to keep a race pace which is simply too fast to keep. The solution to all these kind of issues is easier than you think. Just decrease a bit your speed. If you're using all the 100% of your skills, just slow down a bit, let's say at 95% of your skills. That little 5% will help you to reduce a lot your mistake per lap ratio. In any case, when you have an accident, independently if it's your fault or your car's fault, don't get frustrated. You must remain emotionless. Analyze your accident. Save the replay. Study it from multiple angles to see the reasons and then try to find a solution to avoid repeating it the next time. You must be curious, because thanks to the curiosity you can fix your mistake and discover new things uh, that you can use to improve your drive. As I did. Do you think I manually studied all the knowledge I have to make all the lesson videos I made on my channel? No is the result of years and years of experience, practice and mistakes. And in some cases you need a lot of patience to understand what you have done wrong. And for that reason when I crash now I know if it's my fault or my car's fault. Anyway, when you find the cause of your mistake you know you have to check all the following elements. The drivetrain, if the, your car is rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Steering movements, if fast, which makes your the rear unstable or slow. Throttle and brake pedals, if you accelerate gradually or suddenly, which is a very common driving mistake. Tired status, temperature, compound, pressure, wear driving assist, like ABS and traction control levels, especially on GT3 cars. Brake BF, if it's too much on the rear, front, on the center. Limited slip differential, if the torque power distribution is too much on the inside or outside wheel to the corner, which could increase or decrease the oversteer. The suspension part, stiffness, camber, anti-roll bar, which is, must be stiffer on the front most, most of times. Downforce, remember, the front one gives you higher cornering speed, while the rear one, which is the most important one, gives you stability. The track conformation, high-low curbs, corners, up hills, down hills, weather conditions, track high temperature and humidity. I know there are a lot of elements to check and study, and uh, it could be a real mystery to know where the mistake comes from when you're a beginner or even an amateur. It's something you learn uh, with experience and, of course, uh, with knowledge. I made a lot of videos about uh, a lot of topics, and uh, here is some of them. In any case, in my channel you find all the rest. 
I hope uh, this video will help you to understand better your accident, because uh, learning from uh, your mistakes is the best way to learn. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video!